we want to find the volume of a pyramid with a height of 25 centimeters and a rectangular base with dimensions 5 centimeters by 11 centimeters. The volume of a pyramid is equal to one-third times the area of the base times the height. Notice here in our formula, capital A represents the area of the base, and of course H represents the height. We can also represent the formula as area of the base times the height divided by three. Notice dividing by three is equivalent to multiplying by one-third. Let's go ahead and label the dimensions given on this pyramid here. Again, the height is 25 centimeters, so this length here would be 25 centimeters, and the base has dimensions five centimeters by 11 centimeters. Let's go ahead and label this five centimeters and label this 11 centimeters. And therefore the volume, let's go ahead and use the area of the base times the height divided by three. Let's begin by determining A, the area of the base. Again, our base is a rectangle. So capital A is going to be equal to length times width, or in our case, five centimeters times 11 centimeters. which would be 55 centimeters squared. And therefore, the volume is going to be equal to 55 centimeters squared times the height h, which is 25 centimeters, divided by three. So the volume would be 1,375 divided by three cubic centimeters. Notice how by leaving the units in our formula, we can see why the units must be cubic units. So this would be our exact volume, but let's go ahead and represent this in a couple different ways. First, let's go ahead and convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. To do this, we'd have to perform long division. We would have 1,375 divided by three. There are four threes in 13. Four times three is 12, and we subtract. Difference is one, bring down the seven. There are five threes in 17. Five times three is 15, subtract, this would be two. Bring down the last digit of five. There are eight threes in 25. Eight times three is 24, subtract. We have a remainder of one. So we could also express this volume as 458. And then for the fraction we have, the remainder over the divisor, so this would give us 458 and one-third cubic centimeters. And just in case we are asked to round to, let's say, two decimal places, let's go and convert this to a decimal. We can get our decimal approximation using this fraction here, or just by converting one-third to a decimal. Let's show it both ways. 1,375 divided by three, rounded to two decimal places, notice would be 458.33. Notice how this also verifies the whole number of our mixed number, and then we can also just convert one-third to a decimal by dividing one by three. For our homework, we do want the exact value of the volume, so it's best to leave it as an improper fraction given here. But of course, this answer is also equivalent, just in a different form. This is a mixed number. Just keep in mind this value here is an approximation to two decimal places. But before we go, let's talk more about pyramids. A pyramid is a solid object with a base that is a polygon, meaning a straight-sided shape. And the sides are triangles, which meet at the top, called the apex, as we see here. Notice in this diagram, the base is either a rectangle or a square. The sides here are triangles. In this case, we have four triangles, and they meet at the apex. A pyramid is also a polyhedron, where a polyhedron is a geometric solid in three dimensions with flat faces and straight edges. So notice by this definition, all pyramids are polyhedrons, but all polyhedrons are not pyramids. For example, a cube, a rectangular prism, that looks something like this, does satisfy the conditions for a polyhedron, 
but it is not a pyramid because it does not have sides that are triangles that meet at the top called the apex. I hope you found this helpful.